Hello friends, my name is Renuka. Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll make some galaxy card with the Hero Art My Monthly Kit, and it's the August kit. Uh, I use this stencil for these four cards, and uh, the stencil is having kind of star and moon pattern in that. This kit also came with the two inks, so I spray those inks on this stencil, and you can see that I use the Hero Arts that box which came the kit came in and this is so intense when i see that it's like it's it's very intense but don't worry we'll use that paper also and then i'll put that on my craft uh, mat and then i just grab simran of uh, water paper there and uh, uh, grab two three uh, card uh, paper cardstock paper there and just uh, putting a little bit of more water there because i thought there is nice pigments on there and then i'm kind of smooshing my paper again and again to grab that ink color yeah at this moment it looks like oh my god what she is doing but believe me uh we're gonna turn those into the beautiful cards and uh, now there are some kind of shell out kind of image or silverweight kind of images i just stamp with those with the hero arts ink and uh, i stamp those like three times because i want really nice black crisp image there and then i will cut out uh, them with the matching dies and um, at this time i do bunch of images and i cut out bunch of images so i can use them in upcoming projects also then after that um i keep all the stuff aside and then started making uh, another backgrounds here and i'm just motioning distress ink uh, first of all i choose a purple um, and then the sky blue color and then the faded jeans color i think yeah and uh, you can choose any colors you want but i kind of uh, sticking to this with because i thought um we'll make one kind of purple card and one kind of uh, yellowish pink orange card so i choose that kind of inks there um you can use any combination what are your favorite combinations there and um, uh, if you follow me on pinterest i have posted lots of combinations there uh, which is not by my own but by others also so you can see that in distress background so you can have that combination here i'm just choosing whatever i can feel uh, at that moment then i use some texture paste here and then um this is i think rangers one and then i grab little bit of that ink and uh, i just mix that ink all over and then i um kind of put uh, the things now i didn't mix it uh, very well you can see that because i i really love the different textures coming out of it the different color coming out of it you can create an ombre effect with it also and for the next one um i'll use a different technique then i'll use the little bit of um, magenta color i want because this is the blue color and it's look really nice at this moment and then i decided to add a little bit of uh, shimmer there and for the next one i'll grab again i just um the white um texture paste and then i'll add uh, i decided to add the mousse there but that it's dry it's not working so i decided to add a magenta new drops and now you can see that the new new use of new drops so i'm the person who can grab anything and mix anything fearlessly and just see what gonna happen and believe me that kind of things give you a nice things and um, really nice effects and then each time i'm spraying those um shimmery spray on that so both of them get nice so i have this lots of left over so i just grab one card base uh, which is from that embossing boss and i use the sponge here and dab little bit of that although i'm not using um this card base for uh, this video but i'll use in upcoming video so now you can see that after drying all these um kind of uh, backgrounds are look really nice and how it works i always create my background first and then i create my card first in that way i get in time to move uh, in between them and the same time um i like it is the faster way of doing the cards because if i do one and then dry it and then try another card uh that not gonna happen and i never added it that way as you watch my channel before um i love to share the way i do my cards so yeah so now i'm adding here the versa fine ink i prepare my card stock before either little bit of ek success powder a non-static powder and then i put uh, some of those starry galaxy images kind of going through 
making star dust kind of thing there and then i'm using this animal um powder and this is from ranger and it will give a really uh, kind of subtle look it is not that white white or silver it kind of in between the in them and i'll add a couple of stars there um and i use most of the times embossing by this way because sometimes you didn't see where you stamp and you want to add some more texture and more elements to it so it's better way to add powder and then the powder gonna stick there and then you can grab another image do the same thing and just heat it all and set uh, and uh, keep it a uh, little bit uh, for a while for cooling and then um, I'll use that uh, face that boy is kind of fishing and sitting in the moon and then now I'm using the intense blacking by Simon Says and that stained my stamp but it's okay I thought uh, and uh, then I just um, grab the whole panel now each time you see that I have a little bit bigger panel because most of the times I do watercoloring and I need some of the room to tape uh, the uh, painter's tape so I just cut out there more and now these two um, silvery uh, sparkly uh, washi tapes are from hero arts uh, previous kits but if you don't have that you can go to simon's and in the darcy section you will get this because uh, i already saw there and now i'll stamp um another thing and uh, it says life is uh, all about dreaming and then i'll stick all these things on the kind of great uh, silver cardstock although it's not seeing there but i love to match or kind of uh, giving that kind of look there and then i add a little bit of foam dots up uh, behind that um, cut out and uh, i just um, stick that over it because you can see that when we die cut the thing we didn't die cut the that thread and the stick which is in hand so after this um i decided to add a couple of clouds and i chose one volume volume paper here i use those clouds which came in a kit again i hit emboss them prep my surface and then add those um, embossing clouds there and this time i'll use the hero arts white detail embossing powder now a trick uh, for the um, embossing on volume is you must see that your um, heat gun is really hot and don't put um, your heat gun more than a one second uh, where you can you know giving heat and just move a little bit here and there and round and round and then um, at the moment you see that all the corner emboss you can see and then just uh, give a couple of seconds to cool down and then cut out uh, it those with the matching that came in it and now uh, adhering it with the glossy accent although i thought that glossy accent is not a good for this uh, i should use the, like uh, some tape or glue dots uh, that's gonna work better but it's okay and i'll put that aside putting some weight on that now after seeing these uh, backgrounds i thought the star and moon needs more shine so i uh, just grabbed a white uniball pen and i'm just um, making outline yeah it's crazy little bit it took like me five or five or six minutes yeah not more than that but yeah it's a nice thing to do because otherwise those not gonna pop out now you can see real the difference and after drying those air drying things are like i love those you can see after air drying that you get that texture that bubbles that water texture just like the distressed one that grab and absorb paper uh paper absorb that thing really nicely so um yeah at this moment i really like that uh, I, i'm glad that i did the air drying thing here and i just put those uh, overnight and um it's like oh, wow now i'm choosing the card base um and after that I will cut out one stripe on each of it as you see and again I'm using the stripe if you don't have this you can use the uh, cardstock the silver or the blue cardstock for this the shimmery cardstock and again I am um, off the camera I just uh, put that sentiment and hit set it and uh, those girls also i already stamp and die cut out in them uh, and then i'm putting a little bit of uh, tape there to hold my panel there nicely and these backgrounds are so so beautiful that i don't want to do much with them they are already looking awesome and i don't want to destroy them by adding more and more things i just want to uh, them like stand out on it and i'll put that left out piece inside so it looks like the part of it and same times it's kind of adding something little in the inside of the 
card too now i'm just adding those here now i use the blue uh, run uh, glue <laughs> glue white glue here for that girl and for other things sometimes i use glue sometimes i use tape runner or uh, whatever i feel at that time i don't know yeah but um, those gonna work better than your glossy accents here adding couple of stars inside uh, just to finish the card and uh, then uh, here also i uh, decided to add that girl and moon and it's like i see that miss you thing is gonna really happening here but then i decided to shift it and then i'll switch the sentiment which came in a kit so i stamp it again on a volume paper background is quite a busy here so i decided to stamp it on a black so it's gonna stand out perfectly and uh, it's gonna match with those um, black girl and boy there and then i'll add a couple of things inside and here is the color box whiting yeah and um, then uh, i'll uh, just uh, grab a little bit of stars there and using the versa fining i have to have two kinds of versa fining one is kind of star sprinkly versa fining another is normal plain versa fining so that sprinkle star um, thing is kind of amazing because it having just a little bit of glitter now then i realized that it's really uh, wet so i need to heat set that and then i cut out cut most of the times i ruin my sentiment uh, because i didn't heat set them and they like uh, ink is moshing here and there then i just decided that that um, borderline should be on the up and just little bit uh, twisting here just little bit of adjustment and then doing another thing adding little bit of glue behind it and yeah everything gonna fall uh, together really nicely and then put little bit of weight there now for the next card here i'm just trimming little bit of edges at this time i don't know uh, what i'm doing um because uh, i want little bit smaller panel i want this is a little bit smaller because i want to use this beautiful paper which came in a kit it kind of um kind of a texture having a cloth kind of uh, one and it's of sometimes feel, feel rice paper but yeah that is really beautiful and awesome paper and then i will cut that also now you can see that um, horizontally it cuts nicely but when vertically i try to cut it uh it's uh, i have to use the scissors but uh, you see that paper is kind of you can see through that background with that paper so i decided to put that background in a small black paper and then i'll put uh, the whole thing on uh, the main card stock here I am using A2 uh, size card stock which is like cards and envelopes come in a box of the set and uh, from the from real collection or coordination some of them and then uh, I just uh, grab one black paper and put a uh, matting behind it I just want it little bit to stand out and uh, kind of match with that uh, black girl and uh, here I'm not taking me measurement. Sometimes I just uh, eyeball the things and put little pencil marks as you see here. And rather than measuring, and now you see I didn't cut that cause it kind of smooshing there. And then I just use my scissors. And uh, then I'll put that paper. Now um, before that I decided I'll put two girls and then I shift to one. And now I'm kind of struggling with the sentiment that what should I put here? And then I decided to put this sentiment. All the sentiments are really nice here. And I grab one of the um, star dies is from Sizzix. You can grab anything. And if you don't have, you can just draw one star and put your sentiment there. And uh, then I decided that I'll use Misty because most of the times I mess with the sentiments. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll use the blue momento ink that blue momento ink on a perfect match with that blue spray ink came with the kit so uh, if you want to see the matching ink you can then add a little bit of uh, shimmer and glitter by using vincazella to that uh, cardstock you can use the glittery paper also for stamping that thing and uh, then i decided just to put everything uh, together and uh, i put little bit glue behind it so it can you know uh, stick the whole panel to it add a couple of um, star sequences here now these star sequences are from Darcy's and they got um, you can got them from Simmons's or um, I bought them from I think consumer craft yeah they're having nice um, sale always going on today also they have a sale so 
um, I'm just grabbing my uh, some of the stars I'm using the blue here mm. glossy accents and I'm just so lazy to grab anything so I'm using that directly glossy accent to pick my stars and that gonna work fine so this completes uh, card i hope you like this soon i will come with the more card ideas and more things if you didn't watch my unboxing video go ahead and watch that you will get more ideas with that and believe me i'm going to show different ideas from what i share there most of the times it happen also so if you like this video you can subscribe my channel if you want to see more such videos you can give it thumbs up if you really like it you can leave any comment if you want to and i'll make sure that i'll read them i, I re love to read them all and uh, you can follow me on my social media and until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye